What's up? Mama Dean here. So um, today we're kind of doing something a little bit different uh, that I've really, I guess, kind of never really done. So what it is, is that um, Dusty and me came across this uh, cabin cooking cookbook yesterday and it has got some really just amazing recipes in there. And one that I came across um, yesterday while cooking through it was to do uh, bread. Now I made up a loaf of bread last night so I kind of used my family as guinea pigs to see if I could do this um, bread or not and so it turned out awesome. So I uh, kind of want to tell you guys what I'm doing. So what I did is in our trailer we have a wood burning cook stove uh, that I'm using right now to cook off of. I'm learning with that and everything. So then what we what we did is we found these awesome uh, cast iron bread pans and what's really nice about those is that it's it's easy to cook with I guess you could say but what I'm wanting to do is switch directly over to cast iron because what that does is that it's been proven as time you cook with a uh, cast iron it puts that iron into your system that you need so I'm going to take you guys along today as we make up this, uh, it's called Streamlined White Bread. And I'll just go ahead and leave the um, recipe down in the description for any of you guys that want to try it or anything. So let's get started. So what we need is we need one package of dry yeast. And I like the rapid rise. That seemed to work really good yesterday. So we'll do that. So I'll just dump that into my, whoops, my bowl. We got that. And then what we need to do is we need to do one and one and a fourth cup of warm water. So I'll just get some warm water going here. And I thought this was interesting. It says that you need to add shortening in with it. So I thought, okay, I've never done shortening in with it, and that seemed to work pretty dang good. Okay, what I'm doing is I've got, kind of see that right there, I guess. Kind of, I don't want to dump it. But anyway, so we've got that dissolving in there. And... So we'll get that all stirred up and everything and now I'm not really the type that has made a lot of bread throughout the years. I've always had like the bread machine and thought that was just like the neatest thing since well sliced bread since we're making bread. But after trying this last night they loved it. So we'll get this going. So then what we need next is it calls for two tablespoons of shortening softened. So I just got this Crisco shortening yesterday and it's already pretty soft so I don't need to to do anything else with it. So here's my tablespoon. And all you cooks out there know what your measuring spoons are without having to have measuring spoons. So this is a so this is a tablespoon. So then, find my little spoon, and then we need two teaspoons of salt. And what I am using is the real salt, and that made a huge difference, I think. So it's just one more great product to have for things like that. So look at that. You can see like all that minerals and just different stuff in there. Okay, so do that. Okay, we'll stir that. Get that in there, good. Okay, and then two teaspoons sugar. Get my ham dandy sugar container here. Two. Okay. That's all 
awesome. Okay, then it's, it, it says that it calls for um, three cups flour divided. That to me last night just seemed like an overabundance of flour. It just was like way too much. So what I did is I just did two cups of uh, flour. So then we'll do half the flour. Hmm. Do about what? Do a cup of flour. Oh, probably, probably about a cup and a half. So I'll do about a cup and a half in there. And then, once again, I'm not a baker. That is to do a metal bowl. So I think what that does is it, it doesn't stick as bad, I guess, as you as it would to a, um, a glass bowl. See guys, that is turning out really good so far. I am really happy with that. Okay. Let's get this mixed up. Let's see, I'll just get has just turned out just absolutely beautiful. So it's just a little bit sticky. So you kind of want just a little bit of stick to it. So I'll just need this for just a few more minutes. Okay, so I've got it covered. My cute little towel that has pigs and chicken and a cow on it. So then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set it right there. So that is a good warm spot for it to be and then what I'll be cooking it in is this awesome stove right here. So I do my fire right here. So I've got my fire going. I'll check that in a minute. And then right here, this is, so then it'll just cook just right inside there. So um, I'm going to get the fire good and stocked up and clean up my mess. And then, uh, I'll show you guys putting it into the cast iron pan and uh, and everything. And I I've got to say I'm so impressed with the the, um, the cast iron loaf bread loaf pan. It is just so freaking cute. It is just the cutest little cutest thing ever, and um, I just love it. So uh, we'll get this raisin and come back and we'll show you guys putting it in the bread pan and then into the oven. So it's been about 30 minutes, give or take, and that just looks absolutely just beautiful. Yep, a little bit sticky, so absolutely perfect. So what we'll do is we'll put it into that pan. So I'm going to do, you just take it, just pop it in, Ta -da! and just pat it into place. Okay, all right, now we'll open up our oven door and then what I'll show you guys that I like what I found works best last night for the bread oh, oh, Fred. okay I gotta stop for a second my lid just came off okay door is back on so what I liked what I found last night that works best for cooking in wood stoves is have your pan right there in the middle Oh, grab it. Right there in the center because if you get it towards like that side it's going to cook too hot or it's just not going to get cooked evenly. So that will cook for about 20 minutes and we'll show you guys the end result. Okay so bread is done. That looks absolutely awesome. Okay, so I want to thank you guys for coming along with me today as we uh, cooked another loaf of bread in the uh, it's a majestic wood burning stove. It was I think done like in the 1800s or something. Mommy. Okay, hold on, absolutely awesome stove. So um, guys, I want to hear what your favorite thing is to cook in um in Dutch oven things, and so that way I can just kind of get an idea of like different things to cook and 
and everything. So um, this was a whole new, this is a learning experience for me. I'm not saying that I'm a professional at doing this. It's just constant learning. And so I just thought this might be something fun to do to kind of show different things that you guys can do um, cooking wise and making bread in a, a wood, in a basically wood burning cook stove. So uh, we're going to call it a day and hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. We'll see you later.